And now let's have a look how we can use multiple transitions together at the same time. So here you can see that I have a div with a box, right? And we're going to go back to the main CSS and we're going to say that for the box, let's say, right? We're going to say again that this is going to be width 150 pixels, right? Then it's going to be a height 150 pixels over here. And then we're going to say the background color. We're going to give it of something like blue, right? So we have the blue color right now. And we're going to go over here and we're going to say box and we're going to say hover, right? So box hover and what should happen, right? First, I'm going to say background color and I'm going to say red, right? And then I'm going to say border radius, which is going to make it uh, look like a circle, right? Not look like, look, be a circle, right? So I'm going to say 50% over here like this. So I save this, right? And as you can see, as I'm hovering, right, you can see that right away turns into the red circle. Now let's go back since we know the transition properties and I'm going to say transition and I'm going to say property, right? And now I'm going to say that first one, I'm going to say background color, right? Background and I'm going to say color, right? And we remember that we need transition duration. So we're going to say transition duration. This time is going to be like seven seconds, right? So we save this and we over here, well, we didn't need to refresh, but you can see what's happening, right? It first first turns to the circle, right? And only then it changes the color, right? Because the background color, we still have it with the transition, but obviously the border radius doesn't, right? So the only thing we need to do in order to have both of them, we're just gonna add that property over here, right? So what we're gonna say over here, we're gonna say border and radius, right? And now if we go back over here and if we save it, right? You can see that both of them are gonna take seven seconds, right? And you can see it goes from uh, red I'm sorry, from blue square, red circle. Now, what if I would want them differently, right? What if I would like want background color border radius, right? What if I would want the border radius actually to take longer? I'm gonna place a comma over here and I'm gonna put 10 seconds over here, right? So if I save this now, background color actually is gonna change in seven seconds. The border radius actually turning into the circle is gonna take 10, right? So we go back over here and you can see what's happening, right? You can see that actually color is taking uh, faster, right? And the border radius is taking slower, right? And obviously you can see which value refers to what. So if you change these values around, your transitions are also gonna change.